All right, so you are overstimulated, Ingram. And in this overstimulation, you're kind of not paying attention to this this small talk conversation that Madame Tentacles is having with the party. Like she's kind yeah, of crying of here and there, trying to figure out what all services she could offer all of you, you know, how she can get her money out of you. And you see Hronk kind of come in from his post, kind of looks up at a clock, shakes his head, walks to the back of the, you know, like back behind the stage area. Moments later, he comes out carrying this huge crate and he's walking out the front door. A few seconds later, he comes back in, right back into the back, walking right back out the front door with another huge crate. When you say crate, is it like a metallic crate? Like a like wooden a... crate. Like, wooden crate. Okay. yeah. You see with your special eyes. I don't know if Tremor Sense would allow you to X-ray a wooden crate like that. Probably not. Not in high detail. No. Maybe the things are are jingling around in it. Yeah, Bert's like right. Sponsor breaks. This episode yeah, is brought to you by Pazuzu Pizza. We never sacrifice quality. Cheers. I'm going to beat that fucking tagline into the ground till Jake makes me some actual ads for Pazuzu Pizza. Yeah. I'm, I'm kicking ideas around. Um, I'll, I'll have to watch some uh, inspirational footage, but I'll, I'll get back to you. I will. That's fair. That's fair. Bert, thanks for that sub. That's fantastic, man. Indeed. And it's on his third trip in. He's going and... Like Abe's up there just gyrating so hard, and some of his infinite abs release a less than infinite amount of ab sweat. And Hronk's foot just catches it, and he falls and he slips, and this crate crashes to the ground. Now, everyone kind of is stopped by this. Even Grundilico, the magnificent one, stops the music for the second. It's Hronk. I'm fine. I'm fine. Keep going. And. Ingram, he starts picking the stuff up and you look and you see that this crate is full of what looks like, you know, highly, you know, the, the fruits and vegetables you expect to find in the wasteland, like weird, lumpy, mutated versions of what you all were used to in your pre-mutated existence in the past. Hmm. Normal food then. Mm -hmm. He's been bringing these outside. He's been taking them outside. This is his third crate. I'll, uh, I'll help him start, like, oh, putting him back in. Shit, thanks, man. Yeah, and he takes your help gladly, and he starts, you know, the two of you start loading him up. I got one more to go after this. Is this one too heavy for you? Um, I don't know if it is. What's your but... strength? Oh, I can help. Uh, 12. Your strength is okay. Uh, if, uh, if Ralph and Ader, you see it, you can come over and help, because you're strong yeah, as shit, I've right? Got, I've got 17 strength. Yeah, so the two of you... Uh, at that point, like, Ingram, you're I'll still right trying. Back, you really are, but you can feel Ralph is mm -hmm. taking a it's little like bit It's like the third guy on a couch pick, that's pick, just kind of touching. You and the crate up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he's like, just uh, put it on the wagon out front. I'll be there in a second. And he comes you guys out. sell food, too? Um, so you said there was a, uh, by the front, you said there was a poster of Thumbelina, oh, like, yeah, wanted? Oh, a big poster framed with that like plexiglass cover over it <coughs> oh oh crap that's gotta be harder to get into yeah okay um does it look like it's accessible is it like one of those things where it's like you get to it from the other Give side or is it like test maybe you slide it out the one side or the other you roll 11 that's good and i was looking for at least an eight no man, they got this shit screwed down. Like mm. this is a permanent fixture. Like they don't want anyone fucking around with this and they want Thumbelina's face, her mugshot to be first thing seen for all who enter uh with that big band for life stealing. Well, well maybe since I'm helping him carry stuff by that poster, I can ask her, oh, what'd she do? Wrong Not buy enough beers? 
Nah, nah, she, uh, Thumbelina was a long-time client here. She even lived here for a while in some of our open rooms, but, uh, ends up that she was sneaking in to pretty much everyone's room at night and stealing money and stealing money. Downstairs, we got some, uh, some games. Gambling, right? Using that money. Right. Using the money's house against the house. Using a goddamn ballerina magic to stack the deck in her favor. And, Sorry, ballerina uh, magic? She had ballerina magic. She only it's has two goddamn kind. tricks. Uh, one is to, uh, to trick gullible fools into helping her with whatever stupid thing she's got. And the other one's that stupid grenade thing she does with her feet. Oh, you know, pinkle toes. Yeah. So yeah, no, she was stealing money from everyone and then betting the money down in the uh, basement at the little casino area. And, uh, you know, she got caught. And that Madam Tentacles, you know, she, you know, she's running a business here. She'll charge you for everything. You're not going to get anything for free. But she'll make sure you get every single goddamn penny's worth, whatever you buy. And if you help her out, she will bend over backwards to help you out in return. And uh, she doesn't tolerate any stealing, so she, Thumbelina there got thrown the fuck out. Poster went up, and I am instructed that if I ever see Thumbelina, or if anyone ever comes in working on behalf of one Thumbelina, I am to rip their heads off, pull their tongues out of their mouths, and then gouge their eyeballs out with their tongues. That sounds um, really unpleasant. That was Madame Tentacles' exact instructions. Hey there, Oak. How's it going? Yeah, word for word, pretty much. Okay. Yep. Nice. Oak's playing the Diablo 4 beta. There was a conversation uh, I, in the Discord about that today. No. Where I, is I, she I, now? Thumbelina? Yeah. I don't fucking know, and I don't care, as long as she doesn't try to come in. Ooh. Now, honestly, I think the the whole, if anyone ever comes in trying to do shit on behalf of Thumbelina, I think it's a little harsh. Because, like I said, she's got two fucking things she can do with that ballerina magic. One, is to get gullible idiots to help her out on shit. And then two, shoot fucking grenades out of her feet. Is it actually? Man, who would want to help her out doing stuff? Be gullible enough for that. Idiots help her, or is it just that she says things and they help her? Oh no, it's magic and shit. Like, oh yeah, like it's actual magic. She's got like these weird fucking thoughts and shit, and she'll like run up next to you and she'll fucking crop dust you, and then once you sniff it in your nose, then it's just like. You want to help the poor thing. Mm. Wonder uh, what that's like. <laughs> probably weird. She's done it to me before, and, uh, you know, had me fucking stealing beers and shit for. I didn't like it. Sammy, thank you for those bits. That is trouble for me. I got an idea on how I'm going to use that, so don't you worry. It scares us. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so yeah, you all get outside having this conversation. I'm going to presume that the rest of you are still inside making small talk with Madame Tentacles while she's uh, trying to sort out every kink that your characters might have so she can financially exploit it. Uh, but Ralph and Ader and Ingram, you see outside there is a... There's a wagon, like a flat... Not like a full wagon, like, you know, it is a flat plank, uh, like a couple of doors nailed together, set up on a couple of wheels with this, like, mechanical donkey hitched up to the front of it. I'll go donkey. Don't laugh at the donkey. Yeah, the donkey's the not donkey. part of the show in this situation. And he has you all. You can see now there's four crates of food. 
and he goes and he punches a couple button on the side of the donkey and the donkey just starts walking out into the waste. All right, there we go. I appreciate the two of yous helping me do this task. You're muted there, Ingram. What's, uh, what's, what's that about? Where's he going? Oh, shit, Sammy, oh that gosh. is another complication. Gosh. Uh, that's for the, uh, that's for the feral orphans that don't live too far from here. Oh, uh, those are the worst kind of orphans. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Madam Tentacles, she's trying to help them out and shit. I don't want to say too much because it's her business, so if you want to, you want to know more, you got to go mm -hmm. talk to her about that, because, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to step on her toes, and I don't, you know, she's trying to do this on the down low. Uh, let's right. see, how many bits is that? That's 500 bits. Griffin, are those for the players or are those for me? I need clear, I need definition. I would hope they're for the players to balance this out. But we'll wait for your response, Griffin. And I appreciate the financial contributions, Sammy and Griffin. That's fantastic. It was my paycheck this week, so... Tyler, I appreciate your wife spending your money <laughs> to help further the stream. It's fantastic. All right. So, yeah. Would it's you just... guys be interested in, like, breaking her? What? Who are you talking Barry to? Barry person. Barry person. Who are you talking to? Oh, the, the grunk. Grunk, sorry. What do you mean? Say that again. My hearing's not so great when like I don't be pay attention. Like you know, pranking her or something, if we ran into her, like we can. If you want to prank her, I honestly don't give a shit. Like, listen, and those were for the players. Thank you, Griffin. Uh, so, players, you can either have five plus ones to luck, or a reroll and two plus ones to luck. Probably that. Okay, and Sammy threw re in another reroll. Anybody tracking? Dan, you're tracking. I'm not. Uh, that was that was bits and shit. Yeah, bits yeah. and shit. So two plus ones to luck, and actually you all can just increase your luck by two. You don't need to track that. Just track the reroll. That's two yeah, rerolls. All right. And any loot and shit you guys get, you can track in that uh, document as well, like communal loot. Anyway, yeah. I honestly, I don't give a shit if you prank her or not. I just don't want her coming around here again. You know, Madam Tentacle, she doesn't deserve that kind of stress. And, uh, you know, she's, she's good. She takes care of all of us. And uh, kicking up shit with Thumbelina, I'd be worried that she would find some group of hapless idiots wandering the wasteland to come over this direction and try and cause trouble. Oh. And it's about that Never. time. You're all Ralph back Nader. inside. Yeah, tempted to out us as the, the idiots, but <laughs> all right. Well you all go back and talk to your friends. Listen. Listen. Madam Begonia. I'm sorry, Duchess Begonia is coming up next. And that is an act that you do not want to miss. That lady can dance like nobody's business, and she's got the fucking hips to back that shit up. So don't miss that shit when she comes on. Anyway, I gotta get back to my post. You all enjoy the night. Yep. Yeah. Is there a bounty listed or anything like on Thumbelina's There's poster, not, no. or is it just it's just not allowed? For life, stealing. Hmm. So. The three of you who have been chatting with Madam Tentacles, she's going back and forth trying to feel like, oh, what do you like? What are you into? What kind of food do you like? Do you all like to gamble? What's your music preference? Like, she's just really probing you all. And every now and then, she's just like, what did the meat taste like over at Mr. Big's place? And you all who ate, it was delicious. It was tender. It was, you know, had the right amount of fatty on those ribs. Barbecue sauce was great. 
Like it was good meat. Like it was tasty. Wonderful meal. It, crunchy, dusty. Got a little bit of gravel stuck in my teeth, but I'm fine. I don't like that question. It's fine. Listen, <laughs> listen. I am just, you know, it's good to see. Uh, oh, we gotta do. I gotta switch over to Madam Tentacles. It's good to see another, you know, entrepreneur in the wasteland doing well. It's too bad that his ribs were crunchy and dry. They can't all be winners. That's fine. That's fine. I've always been curious about how he managed to set up shop so quickly with such fantastic building materials. And those turrets, state of the art, I must say. I must say. Wonderful. I always ask him if I could buy some off of him. But he declines every time. No price I throw at him. No personal favors ever sway his opinion. But enough about my small curiosities. We're more than happy to oblige you here at the Sunken Devil's Pleasure Palace. Anything you want, you know, within reason, can be arranged. Rules are simple. Never steal, never harm another patron, unless consent is granted and the proper forms are signed. We have gambling downstairs. Uh, we do have pool, but I would recommend you not. Uh, you see the rat pack over there. Uh, they are a single organism, a hive mind, as you say. Um, and that kind of processing power, the, the angles they can calculate, believe you me, they've paid off a little bit of debt before by showing me all of the angles they can calculate. <laughs> but... I think I've taken up enough of your time. Looks like your two friends are returning. So unless there's any other questions for me, I must make my rounds. Please, Duchess Begonia is coming on. Tip generously, and also please don't forget to tip Zod. He works hard at making sure that every beer is delicious and every glass is clean. Uh, if you are hungry, please head up to the second floor. Uh, we have an all-you-can-eat buffet. Oh. Hmm. I'm immediately I'm, going to I'm the good. Buffet. I sunned myself earlier. And I'll say that, Ralphinator and Ingram, uh, the two of you are showing back up just as she's about to take her leave. Uh, so the five of you are then together with her. If there's any conversation you want to have with her. Shit, 100 points for the Duchess. That's right. Duchess is the MVP. <clears throat> Everyone gets a point of luck on this. I bet if you were trying to get something out of the the rib guy, uh, you should start experimenting maybe in some like rib seasoning or marinades or something. Oh, Might believe be to... you me. We have tried. We have put out several of our own lines of sauce. Um, he said they all tasted a little bit sweaty, but I mean, how else would you describe the flavor of carnal sin and fun? I'm That's not going to think point. about that any more than I have to. That's a fair uh, point. <laughs> anyway, if there's nothing else, I'll make my rounds. Uh, whatever you need, uh, just please talk to Zard. Uh, if you want rooms for the night, he can arrange that. Uh, mm -hmm. If you need access to any of the other floors, let him know and he can arrange that. Um, the basement, of course, is our gambling lodge. Second floor is the restaurant and the lounge, if you're needing somewhere a little quieter to relax. Uh, third floor up uh, are guest rooms until you get to the sex, uh, sixth floor. That's the orgy room. That's why I said sixth floor. Uh, and then seven through nine are <laughs> permanent lodging. For I'm going to stay within 40 stay feet away of that. <laughs> we mop regularly. It's quite clean. You can still That's see it. Not why I'm staying forty feet away from it. All black lights are banned. <laughs> yeah, but the smell. I mean, you have no idea how hard I've tried. How many pine air fresheners I've put in there. There is nothing you can do for the smell. Eventually, it's, it's a Pavlov's dog kind of situation. Eventually, our patrons know that smell, and my wallet tingles with anticipation. 